we are back again in our mathematics class hope all of you are well at home so today we will again discuss about long division because i i watch uh, that some of you again doing some mistakes so today i will give you more example on long division and the, we will learn checking rule of division and in the last there will be few questions for you you can take it as a quiz so let's start our class again i want to repeat the steps of long division process to repeat the steps again i will uh, give you a tricks to remember the steps first step is divide so the first letter letter is d so d stands for dad then multiply here m stands for mother your mother then uh, subtract so s stands for sister and bring down b b stands for brother so in your in our family if we maintain the order then we will you can also uh, maintain our steps in of long division like dad mom sister brother and then you repeat the process means divide multiply subtract bring down and repeat the process until you get zero so if you not subtract and just keep the number as a remainder then your answer will be wrong what i have shown so uh, you have to follow the steps otherwise your answer will be wrong if you not uh, subtract then you will not take the number as remainder what i have shown in the last example in my last tutorial class so today again i will show you some uh, sums so that you can clear your doubts divide 486 by 3 here i have to divide three, uh, 486 by 3 so here divisor is 3 dividend is 486 quotient is 162 and remainder is 0 how i have get it first i have multiplied 3 ones are 3 then subtract from 4 then we i get 1 means 1 8 now the number came 8 uh, i have bring down the number 8 then 18 3 6 are 18 then uh, the next number 6 uh i have bring down the number 6 and then 3 to the 6 in this way we if we follow the steps then there will be no error there will be no error in division and also maintain the divisor dividend quotient and remainder writing it's re represent a good answer so you have to write the divisor dividend quotient and remainder just look at the question answer i have written the now the next question you just observe it this is a question here the divisor is of two digit and the dividend is four digit number so to get the answer uh, we need to apply the steps properly means we need to follow the steps properly first Uh, the eight is less than fifteen, so we have to take two number. So that is two eighty three. So uh, I have written here in the rough the fifteen table. In fifteen table, fifteen six are ninety. So it will be fifteen five are seventy five because ninety is more than eighty three. So we have to take seventy five. Then subtraction. Then just repeat repeat the process. and see i have also written here the answers properly means therefore the divisor is 15 dividend is uh, 8338 and quotient is 555 and the remainder is 13 so in this way you have you have to maintain the steps the um, presentation for betterment of your Now let us consider the next question. Our third question: Divide four thousand one hundred eighty-three by ten. It is very easy, you know, because ten table is very easy. Uh, so here we need to apply the 
formula means we need to follow the steps. See, 4 tens are 40. So, we have to subtract 40, 40 from 41. Then, we will get uh, 1. And after that, we have to bring down the number, next number that is 8. So, 18 is less, less than 10 or greater than 10. It is greater than 10. So, we so 10 ones are 10. So, now we can subtract again 8. Uh, and the result of the subtraction is 8. So, next we have to bring down the last number that is 3. That is 8 to 3. So, 10 8s are 80. So, the after subtraction... What will come means the leftover part is the is our remainder that is 3 is our remainder. So therefore divisor is 10, dividend is 4183, quotient is 418 and remainder is 3. So in this way we can if we apply the formula means if we follow the steps then there will be no error. But if you jump any step, then you will face problem. You can face problem. So, now we need to check our answer. Is it right or wrong? How we can check our answer is right or wrong? Idea. There is a formula that is called the checking formula of division. We need to learn this formula. The formula is dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. You need to learn this formula very well. Dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So, now let us check our formula is correct or incorrect. So, the first question is, let us let us check the example. See, here 27 is divided by 6 and we get the result means the quotient is 4 and the remainder is 3. So, here the divisor is 5, divisor is 6, sorry. Dividend is 27, quotient is 4 and remainder is 3. Now we, we know that dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. So let's check by putting the numbers in the place of divisor, quotient and remainder. So our divisor is 6. So we have to put here 6. Then quotient is 4. Then we have to put it here 4. So 6 into 4 plus 3. So, 6 into 4 equals to 24 plus 3 equals to 27. So, the dividend is 27. Is the dividend is 27? Yes, the dividend is 27. So, our answer is correct. So, our formula is also very true. For all the division, we can apply this formula. Let us check our second question. Uh, divide and verify your answer. Here you have to divide 39 by 5. Now what to do? First of all you divide. See here I have divided 39 by 5. Let us check whether I have I am right or wrong. So I have got quotient 7 and remainder 4. So the divisor here the divisor is 5 dividend is 39 and quotient is 7 and remainder is 4. Now we need to apply the checking formula. The checking formula is dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder. If after putting the numbers dividend divisor quotient and remainder the result gives as the dividend then our answer is will be correct. So now just check 5 into 7 plus 4 equals to 5 into 7 equals to 35. 
थर्टी फाइव प्लस फोर इक्वल्स टू थर्टी नाइन इज आवर डिविडेंट इज थर्टी नाइन येस इट इज थर्टी नाइन सो आवर आंसर इज वेरीफाइड दैट मीन्स डिविडेंट इज थर्टी नाइन इट इज आवर आंसर सो इट इज वेरीफाइड दैट यू हैव डन राइट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज डिविडेड डिवाइड एंड वेरीफाइड जस्ट have a look on the answer see here the quotient is 244 and i have got the remainder 5 uh, am i right or wrong let me check dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder now i have to put the value of divisor quotient and remainder see i have put the values and i have got 737 oh my god it is not our dividend it is not equal to 735 so our answer is incorrect that means i have done a mistake here so in this way you can find out your mistake if you done wrong anything wrong then you can also find out that with the help of this checking rule or formula so just remember the formula that is dividend equals to divisor into quotient plus remainder now the end of the tutorial class we have come here i have arranged few questions for you solve it and answer it in my comment section if divisor equals to 4 quotient equals to 20 and remainder equals to 5 find the dividend by applying formula by applying formula the next question is if we divide 2000 by 20 what will be the remainder what will be the remainder here the third question is process of long division divide subtract multiply bring down then repeat true or false if you know the answer just write down in my comment section and let me know that how much you have learned this long division and the checking formula so thank you and just learn it well in a fun mode and give the answer quickly as much as you can so till then bye bye and take care